Box Wars really feels like a medieval battle. The only difference is it's with cardboard. There's rules to Box Wars, but they're very limited. There's no winners. We like to say that if you're in a Box Wars, you've already lost. I'm Ross, I'm one of the supreme overlords of Box Wars. Box Wars is a collective of people that love to get together, create cardboard creations, and then destroy them in an epic battle. It's more about competitiveness in being creative. The only materials that you can use are cardboard, adhesives like tape, hot glue, whatever you can find in packaging. That's the stuff that we like to use to build our suits. Every single battle has a new engineering challenge, like building a giant aircraft carrier or building a monster truck that actually rolls or a train which has to carry in a whole bunch of policemen. We encourage people to come down to our events and build as elaborate costumes as they can possibly make. Once they've built the props, then we all gather at a park and then we battle. Everyone comes in and clashes and destroys everything. Stuff that we've spent weeks on designing, it's all gone in seconds. It just started off really small, but then all of a sudden it blew up. There's generally around about 50 to 100 people in the actual battle, and then it can be hundreds and hundreds of spectators. We've got chapters that have started up all around the world. We've had groups in Japan, in Europe, in America, in Canada. It seems so childish, but it's fantastic that a concept like this crosses cultural and language barriers. Box Wars is based around comedy. <laughs> That's the whole point of Box Wars, we're losers. What we're doing is quite pathetic. We should all have real jobs, but here we are building stuff out of cardboard. If you laugh at us, that's exactly what we want. Wait, that was pretty pathetic. <laughs>